Hello, everyone. I am back and doing another video. Um, I think this this is my second one for this week. Hooray! Happy I'm able to have some time to be able to do this. I had some time and I was thinking, you know, I could just wait, but you know, um, results doesn't come from the sloth pool. So I went ahead and wanted to start on, let me see how do I get this off. I want this. See, I'm trying to remove this part of the screen. Oh, well, we'll leave it there. Um, but the title of my next topic is spiritual well-being. I feel that it's very important, especially in these times where there's so many distractions going on to try to um, distract the chosen, especially from connecting spiritually, um, from um, disconnecting with our power source. And I feel like it is very crucial and integral that we continue to practice spiritual, our, practice and focus on our spiritual well-being. So I know I say this a lot, but discernment really is key. And how do we discern? We must be able to conceptualize true reality from false reality. It's just a gorgeous day, you guys. But that's what we are needing to do, is to be able to conceptualize true, re true reality from false reality because I feel like a lot of us especially the youth but you know I can't just sum it down or dumb it down to the youth adults too we are struggling with conceptualizing and distinguishing the difference between true reality and and false reality and a lot of times we are giving more attention to false reality instead of true reality and this is very dangerous. So what is true reality? Everything has an order. Remember that everything that is manifested in the physical is manifest in the spiritual and usually first. True reality is being in the present, having an appreciation of what is here now and what is laid in front of us. Being truly conscious that there are dangers around us. So we must be present and engaged and having real questions and wanting and desiring real answers. True reality and spiritual well being is just having the ability to simply look up and look around and appreciate it for what it is in the present. False reality. What is false reality? It is not living in the present. Always looking for something that is not presently presented. Always looking for something that is Hello, based off a false narrative or a false belief. So what I am begging for us to do 
and what is lacking is there's a lack of being content. Contentment always leads to satisfaction. Discontentment or non-contentment always leads to a never ending search for more, 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 more. Even when there's nothing there. So not being content is not always good. Because I'm sorry, there's a, <laughs> yes, they're back from school. I'm sorry, there's a group from my neighborhood, a school bus just dropping some young kids off. So bear with me, give me a moment. And it is just, you guys, it's a beautiful day. Again, you guys, it's just, a, um, I think this is elementary school, just um, got dropped off. But again, I hope y'all are having a blessed Thursday. Um, so yeah, contentment. Not being content or discontentment not, is not always a good thing because it leads you to take for granted and unappreciate what you already and currently have, which can be a very dangerous thing. Because if you're always focused on looking this way, you will never be able to look straight ahead right in front of you. So what we are needing to do, and I'm calling for the chosen to do, is to meditate daily, take some time to go outside, or even if you have to stay in, and just recenter. Listen to some relaxing, soothing music and recenter. Work on being present. And I'm kind of happy those kids were walking by because I hope you took some time to kind of take some deep breaths in and just recenter and refocus and reflect on the things I was just talking to with you about. And I, I'm sorry, there's a lot of kids in our neighborhood, so you're just gonna have to bear with me. Yes, go ahead. So you don't need a spaceship to connect with spirit beings. You don't need a spaceship to connect with spirit, spirit beings, you guys, in other life forms from distant galaxies. All you need to do first is become in tune with self, nature, and who you truly are. So like I was saying before, meditation is so extremely important. We must continue to fast. 
we must continue to clean, cleanse ourselves from negative ways of thinking and being and eating. And we must always be present with spirit. Continue to look up, look around, and have open eyes and an open heart to receive what you are receiving from the Holy Spirit. And I wanna close with this. Um, a thought came to me the other day and what I thought about was, imagine y'all at the highest of highs of levels. Then imagine Satan and Satan is the enemy, or not the enemy. Yes, he's the enemy, but he's the puppet master. And we're the puppets. Yah is controlling the puppet master. And the puppet master is controlling us. Who would you rather put your faith in? Just think on that. So I am going to leave you all with that. Um, I pray you all have a very blessed day and weekend. Um, continue to meditate, continue to strengthen your relationship with Yah and um, through the Holy Spirit. And, you know, enjoy the present, enjoy what's around you, who's around you. Show appreciation for them and um, go appreciate yourself. Do something nice for yourself, you know. Go and um, get a pedicure, go for a spa, you know, go for a nice walk, a hike, um, go get your hair done or a cut, you know. Do something nice for yourself. And then after you do that, Go outside, look up, and give thanks. Many blessings.